Another day, another rain shower. Hi, I'm Brad Sherman from NewsWatchman.com, and the wet and rainy conditions are causing more flooding in Pike County and even closing some roads. We'll have a complete check of your weather forecast later in this webisode. Stay with us after the break. These are your midweek headlines. When Ed's on the links, uncertainty is par for the course. But when he learned he had cancer, there was no room for doubt. That's why he chose the SOMC Cancer Center. For our board-certified physicians, state-of-the-art technologies, and patient-centered support like personal counseling, financial assistance programs, and the guidance of the American Cancer Society, whose office is right in the building. All the resources he needed to make sure he got back in the swing. The SOMC Cancer Center. Very good things are happening here. You're taking a look at some pictures of flooding along Chenoweth Fork Road Tuesday morning. High water is playing havoc with travel all around Pike County. The Ohio Department of Transportation announced Tuesday that the closure of State Route 124 has been extended to include the Latham area and west toward Drybone Road. We'll have a look at a very wet and rainy forecast later on. The Pike County Sheriff's Office, along with the State Highway Patrol and numerous fire departments and local emergency squads, all came together to host a mock crash on Monday morning at the fairgrounds. Upperclassmen from area schools were invited to attend the event. Pike County Sheriff Richard Henderson says the Monday's exercise was designed to hopefully prevent irresponsible behavior behind the wheel. We know we can't stop everybody from out drinking, you know, and they're going to party. You know, we know it's against the law. Uh, but, but what we're trying to prevent is for them to get into a car and drive, uh, the drinking and driving part of it. And we're also looking at the texting part of it. A lot of kids nowadays, they're getting their license at a young age, they're 16, you know, and uh, they're, everybody has a cell phone now and they want to let their friends know. So they start texting them. Uh, and it's causing more and more accidents, especially with younger drivers. And we just want to get the word out to let kids know, to, to stop and think before you do something that could change the rest of your life or change your family's life. Be sure to pick up a Wednesday News Watchman for more on this story. And if you want to see additional highlights from the crash, be sure to check out our special video on NewsWatchman.com and our YouTube channel. The Outreach Council has released its 2010 annual report, and the organization could sure use your help. When you pick up a Wednesday News Watchman, reporter Matt Lucas will tell you how you can. We'll also have the latest on the American Centrifuge Project, and we'll have our popular law enforcement log. Now, sports. When you pick up a Wednesday Watchman and check out the sports section, You'll find track and field results as well as the softball and baseball tournament draw. So you can find out where, when, and who your favorite team will be playing. We'll also have all the latest local action from the Diamond as well. Time now for a closer look at your weather forecast for Pike County and the surrounding area. Here in our first week of May, it looks like it's picking up right where April left off. Rain and plenty of it. You saw at the start of our program some of the flooding around Pike County, and by the looks of things, the high water situation will only worsen before it gets better. A few showers are in the forecast for Wednesday. We'll have a brief reprieve Thursday, perhaps, then a good chance of additional showers on Friday and throughout your weekend. Taking a look now at your obituary report. Helen Turjanica, age 91 of Waverly, passed away on Saturday. Funeral services for Helen Turjanica are under the direction of the Boyer Funeral Home of Waverly. 
Billy Ray Montgomery, age 56, of Piketon, passed away on Friday. Funeral services for Billy Ray Montgomery are under the direction of the Boyer Funeral Home of Waverly. William R. Loblin, age 61, of Clarksburg, passed away on Friday. Funeral services for William R. Loblin are under the direction of the Fawcett Oliver Glass and Palmer Funeral Home of Chillicothe. For additional information on any of these obituaries you just heard, check out page 3 in your Wednesday Watchman or log on to newswatchman.com. All these stories plus Pike's past and the Faith and Family page all in the Wednesday edition of your Pike County News Watchman. Now don't forget to look for new webisodes of headlines on Tuesday and Friday afternoons. And we're also planning on bringing you a brand new webisode of Waverly City Council on Wednesday. Now, speaking of city council, this is primary election day, and there is one contested race for a seat on city council. So if you live in that particular ward, be sure to go out and express your voice. That's all we have for this time, but tune in again on Friday for more headlines. We'll see you next time. Have a great rest of the week, everyone.